Hey guys, hey. <clears throat> okay, so first off, I haven't done, did, done. I haven't done a live video in like forever, so I thought it was about time. Secondly, <clears throat> y'all know I preach about not uh, multitasking because the human is not equipped to successfully mark, multitask. Here I am walking my dog. Let's see if I can flip the camera over. Walking my dog, chewing gum, and I am doing a Facebook Live video. I'm going for a walk, and people might think I'm crazy, but you know what? It's all good in the head. So, if I trip, I'm doing it live. If my dog has to poop, well, you know. So, another thing I wanted to touch on is I wanted to say, hey, Denise. I wanted to say thank you for everyone for being my love and support and I wanted to say that I'm very grateful for everyone whether you like and comment on my stuff whether you join my journey what have you each and every one of you is here for a purpose in my life and there's no way that I could have gotten anywhere in life you my dog just stepped in mud anyways there's no way that I could have gotten to where I am in life in my journey and my mental state, and my physical fitness, everything, if it wasn't for you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you, and I hope that I'm doing something to give back in some way, shape, or form, um, or at least pay it forward. So thank you guys. Now, I felt compelled to do a Facebook Live video today about how we tend to focus on the past, and I think the reason was I'm sitting here walk, walking my dog Lola, and I'm listening to a podcast, and I'm Facebook scrolling, so of course I'm half-assing again, I'm multitasking. Um, realize I didn't put deodorant on today, <laughs> whatever, but I'm Facebook scrolling, and you know, people's time hops are popping up, or on this day, remember this, and it's just like a drag like everyone's like oh when I used to be this size or when I used to be in this relationship and now I'm single or you know woe is me and blah 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 I'm like the past is the past and a lot of the time we let that oh this is going to be challenging I'm going to cross the road I'm waiting she's going to go oh thank you um, I can't wave because my hands are busy. Anyways, so a lot of the times we let our past weigh us down or hold us back from doing anything, from from doing anything, from being happy, from taking chances. Um, we hesitate all the time. We talk ourselves out of everything, you know, whether it's asking our boss for a raise, starting a new lifestyle change, quitting a bad habit, leaving a toxic relationship, asking someone out. You know, there's all sorts of things that we hesitate and we just talk ourselves out of. And it all stems down to our subconscious and the shit that we have told ourselves from time and time again from our past. You guys see me preaching every day about my affirmations and I am statements and and we know that I am statements are the most powerful words that you can say to yourself. And how often are the not then you're saying to yourself, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not meant to be fit, I'm not meant to be, you know, out of debt, I'm not meant to be happy, I'm not meant to be in a good relationship, I'm not meant to be joyous and but you are, you are. What you're doing is you're creating your own reality by telling yourself these horrible, awful I am statements. But in the end, you need to, you need to switch that shit around. You need to say like, I am more than enough. I am fucking worthy. I am lovable. I am deserving. Stop playing in the mud. <laughs> I am deserving of happiness and love and success and wealth. I deserve happiness. I deserve an abundance. And the more you tell yourself those statements, those positive I am statements, 
the more you're going to believe them and the better of a reality that you will create. Now, I don't know about you guys, and I could only speak for myself, but I was that girl. I was that girl who only said those negative I am statements. I said it for a long time. You know, I don't, I'm not strong enough to change. I have such a long journey ahead of me. I have over 100 pounds to lose. I'm so broke, I can't even see straight. This is my life. This is how I'm meant to be. That's not what life is. That's not how your life is meant to be. And the more you sit and dwell on it, the just the worse off you get. Because that's because all you're doing is asking the universe to provide more of that shit for you. That's all you're doing. But there has to come a time where you're like, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of being unhappy. Are any of you guys sick of being unhappy? Are any of you sick of any part of any area of your life? Any area at all? Maybe you give in to cravings. Maybe you're always running late. Maybe you hate your job. Maybe you're tired of being alone. Maybe you are tired of fighting with your best friend. Whatever it is, what area in your life are you unhappy at? And what can you do to change it? You have the power. You have the control. You can make the choice in what you do to change that. But if you keep dwelling on the past and you keep dwelling on these negative I am statements, then you're never going to... She's peeing and walking at the same time. She's a multitasker too. Then you're never going to get anywhere. You're never going to progress. You're never going to get the results that you want out of life. And that's no one's fault but your own. I was so sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was so sick and tired of being unhappy. I was so sick and tired of being in pain because I was overweight. I was so sick and tired of being out of breath because I was overweight. I was so sick and tired of not being comfortable in my own skin and not wanting to go out. And when I did go out, I didn't have a good time because I thought, oh my God, everyone's staring at me. Everyone's thinking about how overweight I am. Everyone probably thinks I'm lazy. All this stuff. When is enough enough? When are you going to start putting yourself first? When are you going to start loving yourself enough to say yes to yourself? To drop all the bullshit, to drop all the excuses, to stop focusing on the past. When is it? You know, every day I put myself out there. Y'all know I'm transparent as they come. I mean, y'all that has followed me more than like a day. I'm as transparent as they come. I never pretend that my life is perfect. I don't pretend my workouts are perfect. I don't pretend my nutrition is perfect. It takes work. Anything in your life takes work. And I am now willing to put in the work. But I put myself out there every day. I share my struggles. I share my small successes. I share how freaking awesome my kid is. I share my relationships. I share my fiance when he wants to work out with me. I share it all. I share it all. So I have all these women that I talk to all the time. Because my passion, my purpose in life is to help empower other women to find their inner strength. To find their inner strength because I don't, I'm not looking for women that could bench press, you know, 400 pounds. I'm not looking for women that could squat, whatever. I just say bench press 400 pounds. That's freaking a lot. But you guys know what I mean. I'm looking for women who want that strength that comes from their heart. Who want to live like the fuck yeah life. Who wants to live the life to get better and to do better and feel better. And every day I'm talking to these women and I, and I hear that I hear what they want. I hear their needs and I hear how important their why is to them. But then in the same breath, I see themselves talking themselves out of it. And it breaks my heart. It absolutely breaks my heart to see someone in need of a change so bad that maybe they don't even tell their best friend this or their husbands or their moms, but they tell me. But for some reason, they don't think that they're deserving enough. And so they talk themselves out of it. And there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do except to continue to be there for them and let them know, you know, I know what it's like. I know what it's like. I was there. Sometimes it feels like it was yesterday. Sometimes it feels like a decade ago. I mean, 
It actually was <laughs> coming out a decade. But y'all know what I mean. Hold on. I'm going to pull up my pants. are falling down. Thick thighs and waist problems. But I just, like, I wish, I wish I was a millionaire so I could have my own personal jet. Maybe I'd have to be a billionaire. Have my own personal jet. So anytime that I hear someone talking themselves out of the fact that they deserve a better life, I could fly to their house and I can just go hug them. Because I know that's what I need. When I talk myself out of something, my love language is physical touch. And words of affirmation. And quality time. But I need that hug. You know, it's reassurance that you're not alone. Life is tough enough. And we don't have to be alone. And, you know, like, maybe I could follow my purpose and passion enough where I can become this ultra-rich, successful person. And I can have my own private jet or a hovercraft. Or something fancy where I could get to people like ASAP. And I can go give them hugs. And go face to face and be like, you are not alone. And you know, that, you know that's why I'm a beach body coach. To show people like, you don't have to be alone on your journey. I know what it's like to be on your journey all alone. And that shit's tough. When you're struggling, you have no one to go to. When you hit like a non-scale victory or even a scale victory and you... You want to celebrate. You have no one to celebrate with. That's just tough. You know, I owe my, I owe my life and my happiness to Beachbody for what it's done for me. You know, I know a lot of people out there are like, oh, multi-level marketing. Oh, their sales. Oh, they blah, blah, blah. Whatever. You just have a bad taste in your mouth for some experience that you've had that's funky, probably stemmed from your past, and that's what you're focusing on. But I know what it's done for me, and I know what it's done to hundreds of women around me that I surround myself with daily. I'm totally walking by my kid's school right now. (laughs) See, I'm easily distracted. I'm like, squirrel. I'm walking by my kid's school right now, and they're outside playing. I'm going to be that creepy mom up to the fence like, hi, Gage. Hi, Gage. They're going to be like, oh, my God, lady. We're putting a restraining order on you. Anyways. So I want to know. I need your guys' advice. Because I know what I needed. I know exactly what I needed. But at the time I needed it, there was no one there for me. And I'm not saying like my friends and family weren't there. It was no one came to me and was like, listen, I know that pain. I know that struggle. I know what you're feeling right now. You are not alone. I didn't have that. I searched for it because I knew I couldn't do it alone. So what do you guys need? Like when you're feeling... Like, like you want to change. Maybe you want more income. Maybe you want to have like a better job. Maybe you want a better car. Maybe you want a better relationship. Maybe you want, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you want, but you talk yourself out of it. What at that point do you need? What do you need? That's going to help you. Come on, Lola. Totally distracting. So what do you need? Because I by no means, I never want to nag, I never want to push, I never want to convince people, you know? Like, I run if you run. I will walk if you walk. And I will check in. Like, y'all know, if I've talked to you once, I'm talking to you, like, all the fucking time because you're all my buddies. You're all my friends. You're my wellness besties. That's what it is. That's what happens when you come into my life. I'm the world's biggest extrovert and... If you don't like it, then you probably wouldn't be watching this video. But I also don't want to leave people hanging. Like, if they need something more, what do I say? What do I do? So I need your guys' advice. What do you need when you start talking yourself out of something? Like, I'm sure there's something, something in your life right now. Well, you have recently hesitated on making a jump. And you've talked yourself out of it. What do you think could have helped you in that moment? Now, after I do this video, I'm going to have to go back and read all your comments. Because the sun's glaring in it. And I can't see you. 
And it's probably not good to walk and read at the same time. Oh, trip. But I just want to know. I want to know how to be a better me. All the time. All the time I'm bettering myself. I want to be a better fiance. I want to be a better mom. A better daughter. A better friend. A better coach. A better leader. A better mentor. And I can't be a better me unless I'm working at myself or working on myself every single day in all areas of my life and asking the tough questions. I need to know how I could do better for more people. Especially women who don't deserve a better life. Because everyone does. It doesn't matter what you did in your past. It doesn't matter what you did yesterday. I need your help, guys. I need your help. Anyways, I'm going to finish this walk with my, my dog. There's another dog coming up here. And my dog is a bitch. Not just because she's a female dog, but... Sorry, Lola. Didn't mean to hurt your feelers. She is. So, let me know. And if there's anything y'all need from me, you know I'm here. I hope y'all are having a fabulous Friday. I love you and thank you again for being here, being by my side. Whether you've been here for a day, a year, the entire time. Have a great day, guys. I can't end it. See, this is why I can't.